Yesterday was a deadline for candidates to file their packets, and so far all incumbents are seeking re-election. So who are the new faces you can expect to be asking for your vote? Here's a look. With the deadline now passed, the Guam Election Commission will be busy reviewing all candidate packets that have been submitted for the 2016 election season. A total of 113 packets were submitted for the senatorial, congressional, mayoral, vice mayoral and public auditor races. GEC Executive Director Maria Pangilinan. All the candidates that have submitted all the requirement, right required documents and have gone through a preliminary processing and have and have deemed to have met all the requirements are presented formally to the commission. So who are the candidates? In the senatorial race, there are a total of 35 people who will be seeking a seat in the Guam legislature. All 15 incumbents are seeking re-election, while 19 new faces and one former senator are hoping to get elected. On the Democratic ticket, there are a total of 18 candidates. On the GOP side, there are a total of 17 candidates. For Democrat, the list includes incumbents Tom Adam, Frank Ogan Jr., B.J. Cruz, Tina Munya Barnes, Rory Respicio, Dennis Rodriguez Jr., Michael San Nicholas, Nerissa Underwood, and Judy Wanpat, and newcomers Jermaine Alerta, Fred Bordalio, Armando Dominguez, Victor Gaza, Carl Gross, Regine Bisco Lee, Talina Nelson, Joe S. San Augustine, and Therese Terlahi. For Republicans are incumbents Tony Ada, Frank Blas Jr., James S. Baldon, Brant McCready, Tommy Morrison, and Mary Torres, former Senator Chris Duenas, and newcomers A.J. Balahaja, Amanda Blas, Will Castro, Fernando Estevez, Barry Mead, Luisa Muna, Eric Palacios, Ellery Paz, Jose San Augustine, and Benito Servino. On the delegate side, incumbent Madeline Bordalio faces a challenger on the Democratic ticket, Tony Babauta. For Republican, the candidates are Margaret Metcalf and former Governor Felix Camacho. As for the nonpartisan public auditor position, there are three candidates, incumbent Doris Flores Brooks, Doreen Chrysostomo, and Zenaida Asuncion. While these candidates have met the June 28 deadline to submit their packets, they are not official candidates just yet. Pangalinan says they must still be ratified by the board, and this includes a review View of what was submitted along with their candidate packets. The board then votes and moves to ratify the candidates. The primary election is scheduled for August 27. The primary election is a party election for the senatorial, delegate, mayoral and vice mayoral races in which only the top vote getters in each party will advance to the general election. For the legislature, the top 15 vote getters in each party advance. For House delegate, mayor and vice mayor, only one in each party advances. You can see the full list of candidates on our website at PacificNewsCenter.com.